Back in the early 90s, I got my first ever home PC, and that was an important age for home gaming. Handheld games were becoming more sophisticated and accessible, consoles were slowly taking over the lives of all children everywhere, but for me, PC games were far more interesting. In those early days, I enjoyed games like Jill of the Jungle, Epic Pinball, and Kill Blaster, just to name a few. And like most space shooters, Kill Blaster was a basic evolution of the classic video game Galaxian, a game created to be an obvious competitor to the highly successful and iconic Space Invaders released in 1971. I wanted to make a short video discussing one of my personal favourites of the space shooter genre that most of you have probably already heard of, a game called Overkill. Overkill, also known as Overkill The Last Planet Mega Blast, is a vertical scrolling shooter that was developed by Tech Noir Productions and published by Epic Mega Games and Position Software Publishing in 1992. This game may not have been as sophisticated as other games from Epic at the time, such as Jill of the Jungle or Duke Nukem, but it did boast EGA graphics, a MIDI musical soundtrack, and more importantly, support for a joystick, and one of the first PC games I ever played with a joystick. Unfortunately, Overkill was overshadowed by later vertical shooters such as Raptor Call of the Shadows and Tyrion, and it slowly became lost in obscurity. What Overkill has that games like Rapture doesn't is simplicity. This game is all about precision, timing and speed, as most space shooters are, but this game really does make you feel like you are in an alien world. There's a charm to this game. It really does feel nostalgic. Because it is alien, the worlds are inventive, imaginative and new, and therefore this game feels more timeless than Raptor does. The replay value can hinder it here and there as it's much more about memory as it is about timing, and you can quickly figure out the patterns the more you play on. What it lacks in sophistication and story, it makes up for in its look and gameplay. I highly recommend this. The art is pretty nice, the gameplay is fun and classic, and feels timeless, and don't forget this was Epic's first vertical shooter. That in itself is something to write home about. Seriously guys. Go and check it out. I'm Mad Munchkin. Stay creative. Hey, thanks for watching this video. And before you go, don't forget to show your support by hitting that like button. That will help me out a lot. Or if you really liked this video, check out some of my other stuff I've done. And hey, go ahead and subscribe too if you want. You can also show your support by supporting me on Patreon, Facebook, Twitter, or you can also check out my Deviant Art page for my artworks, as well as find out how you can buy my artwork and even get some commissioned work too. Thanks for watching! See you again soon!